A couple is executed in their Albuquerque home, but the killer leaves her 20-year-old daughter, Renee Olemacher, unharmed. Her other relatives became suspicious in a case that puzzled investigators. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty has been covering this crime for more than six years. Here's a preview of tomorrow night's report. That morning was probably, I felt like that morning was the end of my life. You know, two, pe two most important people in this world were taken away from me. The nightmare began on a quiet residential street in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My mom was getting ready for work. I heard my mom scream. My dad yelled, what are you doing? And just gunshots just went off. Boom, 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 boom. Honestly, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I looked to see well, where am I gonna hide. So I just went into my closet, turned on my cell phone, dialed 911. This is 911, where is your emergency? Oh, my parents, I think they were shot. I'm hiding in the closet. I'm scared. By the time police arrived, Renee's parents, Greg and Bernadette Olamacher, were dead. Only Renee survived unharmed. My parents were probably the greatest parents ever. Renee, is it your position that your parents were probably the greatest parents ever? Beyond the greatest parents ever. At the murder trial, Renee was forced to revisit her most right. private moments when a defense lawyer asked her to read from her diary. My mom reminds me of astrological sign Gemini. Two-faced, good for nothing. I hate my dad. I really don't know how much more I can take before someone makes me explode. She may have not pulled the trigger, but I have no doubt she had everything to do with this. Amazingly, Renee's entire family believes she was somehow involved in her parents' murder. For months, Renee was the prime suspect. Put your arm straight out in front of you. Eventually, she took a lie detector test. Do you know for sure who shot your parents? No. Do you know who shot your parents in their bedroom? No. The bottom line is Renee couldn't pass a polygraph. But Renee Olamacher is not the one on trial. Enough about Renee. We're going to put the focus back where it belongs, back on the defendant. After almost a year, <laughs> investigators have found what they thought was hard evidence tying a surprising suspect to the cold-blooded murders. His name, Ron Santiago. He was the mortgage broker for the refinancing of my parents' house. I was like, what? What are you talking about? State, you may call your next witness. Erin Moriarty joins us at the table, the mortgage broker. <laughs> I what would this, be the motive? This is really a first for me, and I think this is why we worked on this case for so long. Um, eventually, I mean, the prosecution had some trouble coming up with the motive, too, but eventually what they said at court was, this was 2005, at the height of the, the housing bubble. He worked for Countrywide, the company that went under. They said that he was overworked, that he promised these clients more than he could deliver. He panicked and he killed them. It was a very unusual motive. Mm -hmm. Was Renee um, a suspect at some point? Absolutely. From the beginning, she was. And you really, even through the trial, even though she was not actually on trial, the defense did what defense attorneys love to do. They put the star witness, prosecution witness, on trial because there was, she gained money. She um, inherited almost a million dollars. She didn't act properly. She, there was a delay before calling 911. Very strange. So you interviewed the defendant twice, and then part of the interview was used in the trial. Did they regret allowing you to do that? What's interesting is I always worry about that when we do these, but no, the defense actually liked the idea that the jurors could see him, but then the prosecution couldn't cross-examine it. So it worked. Mm. Can I just say I'm confused? So right, you won't be when you see Saturday. the power. I'm the sorry. The mortgage broker, the daughter, were they a couple? I don't know. No, in okay. fact, the family thought they were, and there's no evidence of that. Okay. Saturday night, all will be revealed. Thank you, Erin Moriarty.